Tonight, a Metro Council member has told WBRZ he plans to vote no on the stormwater utility fee with the council votes next Wednesday. The proposed fee is very unpopular. Folks attending tonight's meeting at the Pride Cheneyville Library branch made that pretty clear. News News Nick Perlin in the newsroom with what voters and council members had to say. Sylvia Michael, many of the people I spoke with say they oppose this fee, and some council members seem to echo those concerns as they prepare to vote next week. I plan to vote no on the proposal that's currently before us. Dwight Hudson is the first Metro Council member to say publicly that he will vote against the stormwater utility fee that was proposed by the mayor's office. I have a, a, a philosophical issue with the fact that we would put something on somebody's property tax bill without them having a vote on it. And on Monday night, many who were at the Pride Cheneyville Branch Library hope others follow suit. The meeting was standing room only. The line to get in stretched out of the door, many needing to sit outside the room where the meeting took place. Cynthia Gallman and Perry Jones were at the meeting. They say they should be able to vote on the proposal. Give the residents of East Baton Rouge Parish an uh, opportunity to vote on this. Why just take it before the council and have the council make a decision on something that we should all have a say in? We feel like it's a tax in disguise of a fee. It sounds like there's some under the table kind of stuff going on right here, and we're not going to fall for it. Hudson says instead of making people pay more, some of the current tax dollars should be moved to cover stormwater drainage. Any dedicated tax that's currently on your tax bill should be evaluated. He says in order to do that, there would need to be voter approval, and also told me what tax dollars can be reevaluated. Council on Aging, Library Board of Control, um, BREC, and Mosquito Abatement. I think those are, are ones that we should be looking at immediately. I told Gallman about that idea, who says it's something she would consider. If that's voter approval, then that at least gives us the opportunity to think about it, see the ins and outs of it. Council members Brandon Knoll and Aaron Moak were at the meeting. They say they want to hear from more people before they vote, but right now there is more they need to know before the proposal can pass. I'm going to listen to these people here tonight. Um, and that's all going to be a part of how I make my decision. But I can tell you, the way I feel right now is I still have questions that need to be answered. Right now, I just I can't pass this. I can't vote for this right now. Now, I want to have the input from the public. I want to hear from everybody. Hudson says he thinks the mayor's office could make a better proposal if they had more time. There will be another public meeting tomorrow night. You can go to our website, WBRZ.com, for more information. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Nick Perlin, WBRZ News 2.